Hey YouTube, it's Joshua Pollard. Please take five seconds out of your day, like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot making videos. Uh, this video, I really want to get into uh, saltwater batteries. Uh, a company a couple years ago tried doing it. Who knows what happened? Um, ended up going bankrupt, getting bought out. But the actual idea of it is amazing when you think about it. Uh, if you're in the oil and gas industry, you know the biggest problem is salt water. How to get rid of it. Uh, in my book, Manifest Efficiency, I talked about Rockefeller when all the other refiners were throwing the waste product that uh, was produced after they took the kerosene out. They throw the waste in the rivers and creeks and everything else. Meanwhile, Rockefeller was using that to power his uh, refineries, giving him an edge. That byproduct that everybody thought was waste ended up being gasoline. So when you take that approach to salt water, what can it be used for? This is a very interesting topic. It's been proven uh, before this company went bankrupt. And again, who knows why they went bankrupt? It could have been financial mismanagement. Uh, the lead engineer guy, maybe he didn't know how to actually run a company, which happens all the time. But it's a proven technology that works very well. Just one of these here is uh, enough to power a whole house. It's really good. It's non-toxic. And when you think about Texas and how much renewable energy we have, but the problem with renewable energy not being able to serve peak, it makes you wonder if scaled up, could this compete with lithium and all the other batteries? It's by far cheaper. With no question, uh, you've got oil and gas that pay you to take salt water, so you're not paying for lithium. So already it's a cheaper uh, scenario, and it makes you go even farther. These companies that are receiving salt water dispose of, they're getting paid to take it. What's to say they couldn't make batteries with it? Maybe desalinization as well, some form. Uh, but it definitely is a big technology, and I think some guys really need to get involved in this. The company that went bankrupt, Bill Gates, put money into, um, but I don't think he has what it takes to do this. He doesn't have the motivation that an oil and gas company, BP, one of the majors would have at breaking through in this, because this literally could change the world. and. On top of it, it solves a problem that oil and gas has. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Please, once again, like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Uh, if you want, hit the notification button. And also, my Twitter, at Joshua Pollard. If you can, check that out. A lot more videos to come. Thanks.